All right, now we will be doing very special function of wave D, acceleration, deceleration, time one and time two. We can have two times of acceleration. We can have two different acceleration and deceleration time. Okay, and we can select whichever we want. All right. So in many application, you want motor to start smoothly and go to the top, and some application you want motor to start abruptly to the high speed. So let's see how we can do that. So in that case, we have to first give the acceleration, deceleration time in parameter ten. 11 12 and 30 okay so let's see what we have in these parameters i'll go to parameter number 10 and let's see what we have in there so 10 has 10 seconds 11 is again 10 seconds 12 is 0.1 13 is 0.1 so we have a very smooth operation for post acceleration deceleration time and very you know abrupt operation in acceleration deceleration time 2 it means if the time 2 is selected it will move quickly to the maximum speed okay without any break so now the question is how we can change that as this time okay we have entered the parameter how it can be changed in that case we will assign a function to one of these terminal let's say m3 to work as second acceleration if i give ground to m3 it will switch over to second acceleration time if i don't give ground it will roll back to the first one okay so to assign this function to M3 will move to parameter number 40 in M3 we should enter this one first or second 11 so in parameter 40 I have to enter 11 going to 40 put 11 all right now have a look this is the out output frequency oops that's the output frequency and in parameter number 40 I have entered 11 all right just notice this one now I'll go back to PLC if I run it as of now it will increase slowly slowly and reach to the top frequency command frequency is 20.1.6 so if I turn it off it will come back very smoothly okay now if I turn on Y3 this case now second acceleration has been selected if I turn M30 it will run all at once 21.6 if I stop it will stop immediately so that's that second acceleration if I want to go back to first one set set this off y3 is off now when you run m30 it will again go smoothly and it will go off smoothly so that's the selection between acceleration and deceleration in your drive okay we can quickly change acceleration even when the motor is running okay now we have another parameter very interesting which says acceleration deceleration speed inhibit okay what does it mean so let's put this 10 first now I'll tell you what does it mean so in parameter number 40 I'm entering 10 now what will happen just look at there this will pause the acceleration so if I set Y0 on right now let's not turn on Y3 nothing will happen it will run smoothly as it is when I reset off it will come back to 0 okay now let's see in second case when I turn on Y0 and I turn M32 it will pause the frequency now frequency is paused it's it's halt 7 okay if I release it it will again go back to commanded frequency if I set it again then again it will pause so the moment when you turn on Y3 it will pause the acceleration or deceleration so if I turn off this motor and I run this one it will pause the motor again set off will come back set on pause again come back so this is how it inhibit the speed it pause the speed in between where it is okay this was acceleration deceleration few additional parameters functions which you may find you know relevant in your application okay